Hey everybody, this is Brad Fitch. How are you guys doing tonight? Uh, lastly, uh, this is also a branch house game reviews from my YouTube channel, which is this will be going up to afterwards. Hope you guys are doing great today. Anyway, we are back with another stream of Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life on the Nintendo GameCube. Last time we played, we started off by pretty much going and, you know, when we started Chapter 2, we are married to Muffy. We have a little boy. His name is Mike, after my brother. We have Frank here. We have a good boy sometimes. Oh, there's Buddy. What's up, big guy? What are you doing? They're standing in the way. Buddy, what do you mean? I'm not really your brother. I would like you to do is wait there while I go into the chicken coop. Guys, yes. Big um, one. fertilized egg, that's fine. Let's go. All right. So let's go and see what else we got going on. We've already watered all of our plants. That. Takakura. We have uh, strawberries growing. We have a bunch of other plants going right now. Let's see what he's doing. What are you doing, good guy? Play. Oh, okay. Don't blame me when you start vomiting. Those will go inside. I need to do say hi. That's supposed to work. We shall see. So the other thing we did is we went mining last time and we actually found the stone tablet that we needed. So that's going to help us in the long run as well, as well, because apparently you need one in every chapter. So that's going to help cut some of the time. We're hoping that she's pregnant, which I'm pretty sure she will be. So that's going to be one less thing we actually have to worry about. All right. So you know what? Let's uh, keep doing that. There's not really a whole lot to do most days. We've made friends with as many people as we really can, I guess. I'm not going to say as we will, but as we can. Let's come see if uh, your boy uh, Galen is here. So obviously, uh, not obviously, but Nina passed away. Nina is resting peacefully here. That's uh, one of the big things that happened in chapter two is Nina passes away, Galen moves there, Dr. Hardy moves into town, into Galen and Nina's old house. Uh, Nami leaves, I believe she comes back later on. Right there's Galen. Yeah, he doesn't really have a whole lot to say right now just because you know, can't really blame him. Hey Chris, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Oh. Cool to see you here. Huh, I think this is something new. I've never seen this cutscene.
Where did you see it? No, I've never seen this cutscene. Wow, something new. That's cool. No, because I am married. Ah, yeah. uh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm actually kind of at a loss here. Part of the things I should say, forget it. Because I am married to Muffy. Ah. I've never seen this. The music is from an old Harvest Moon. Moon, Super Nintendo. There we go. As long as you like. Huh. No, I've never seen that cutscene. Still trying to become friends with Cody. Are we friends? No. Gustafa, yes. Carter, yes. Friends with Carter. That was so cool. Yep, Decca, welcome back. We are back to playing some Harvest Moon, my baby. Uh, I just saw a cutscene for the first time that I've never actually seen before. Uh, in Chapter 2, normally Nami doesn't come back, but there was a cutscene in the bar where uh, Patrick, Cody, and uh, Gustafa... Oh, there's Nami. Can't believe I stayed here the whole year. But yep, she, uh, she came back. I'm not used to seeing her back for a while, so it was actually really cool. I've never seen that cutscene. And yep, Galen, buddy, I know you're hurt. Don't worry. I will heal. I have anything I can put. Some food, buddy. Yeah. We need to get ready to go to sleep. Oh, played with the ball. Yep. Mm -hmm. Always wear a heart. That's what they say. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, is this Takakura? No? Huh, another cutscene. Excuse me, you're wow. Wow. 
know. Once again, that's uh, another cut scene I've never seen. And we are just catching all the breaks right now. But you know what? We might as well. I'm right here. Not gonna hurt anything. The other thing I have to figure out how to do is get the other records in the game. Because you can end up getting old themes from past games. And uh, during the bar scene, and where Nami came back, it was actually playing the original Harvest Moon theme from the Super Nintendo. So I gotta figure out, without having to hook up a Game Boy Advance and go that route, I gotta figure out how to get those. I think. If you play Patrick in one of the games that he has, you can end up getting a record from him. I'll have to double check my facts. Because it is cool to have some of the old music in there. This is one of the very few games where I actually have the soundtracks pretty much uh, on my phone, so that way, when I'm going throughout the day, if I feel like being nostalgic, I'll just throw on this album, The Harvest Moon, Wonderful Life, uh, Magical Melody is fun, Mario Kart 60, uh, Mario Kart, yeah, I mean, Mario Kart 64 is nice, uh, Harvest Moon 64 is what I meant, that game, the game is tough, if you're trying to go for a perfect run, I've never done it, never done it, oh, he's asleep, right? Uh, is Muffy in the kitchen, or is she gone to the bar? Kind of, uh, irresponsible. She's gone to the bar. We won't sleep. Alright. So we have another sunny day. Let's start off by eating Mugworth. Because the other thing I'm going to have to do is start shipping stuff. Like in... 65 squares left. Because apparently, in this game, you can get divorced from Muffy and Nami, I guess, if you're not shipping enough. So obviously, we're not going to want to do that. Celia, it's a lot harder. I've never done it with anybody, so I'm not going to really plan on starting now. But, you know, we'll make sure it doesn't happen. There, almost done. Pretty much start our day. This one. Okay, it's pretty much timed it out just right. There. Now, we know it is going to probably be sunny. Let's go inside and let's go check on the old animals. He was angry. Come on. There we go. He's like, give me my food, man. 
Start. Okay. All right, let's also go check uh, the chickens. I don't think they've laid anything yet. I need to show you it. I should just throw it in. But yeah, you want that? You want that? Well, guess what? Too bad. Pretty much what he was doing there without actually doing it. So I don't think I can give anything to Galen. Of course, he'll pretty much just say I'm not in the mood for gifts or something along those lines. But we're gonna try it anyway. All right, let's go see Galen this morning. Because at some point, we will actually get an item from him. Oh, he's already out and about. Oh, he's right there. Mm. Yep. Sorry, Gailer. Yeah, he gets to be quite sad. I mean, I, I can't really blame him. If you, uh, let me think about it. We were together for so long, and then, you know. Oh, there goes, uh, Wally. Here's you. Hi, buddy. Ah. That's true. No one's ever seen him, though. I believe that's going to be Patrick. Yep. That's going to be Casey. Don't know if we're no, we're not friends with them. I think they like flowers, though. Can't wait to taste. Yep, he's gonna eat a flower. We're not friends. Okay. There, we're friends with uh, Patrick. That's good. Once again, the more friends you make, the better off you are. Cody will not usually take gifts if he's inside his house. So it's best to just kind of wait until you end up seeing him just out and about randomly because then you have a better chance to befriend him. Not gonna say it's always gonna work, but you stand more of a chance for him actually uh, accepting something. Go say hi to everybody in the villa. We'll see if the bat gets around. I think we've become friends with Sebastian, actually. There is a recipe somewhere in this house. I just don't know where it is exactly. And, yep. <clears throat> Hello, Samantha. is playing the piano. Sebastian is probably in his quarters. If not, he is roaming the house. 
Oh, he's roaming outside. Don't know who she is. I don't remember you. I really don't. I think she's potentially new in chapter two. But no, I, I really don't remember ever seeing her. Okay, so we've done that. There's Nami. I know we're friends with Nami. Uh, this is Kate. You're welcome, Kate. Not friends yet. That's fine. I know we are friends with Groovy. Fan? I don't think so. No, we are. Huh. Interesting. Didn't think we were. Oh, what an interesting fella. Okay. So really, we've actually done just about everything that we can do. Uh, the only other thing I could try to do is a little bit of mining, just to sell stuff, but for the most part, that's honestly as far as we can go. Because the mine changes every year. <laughs> right away. Go ahead and do a few things. So really, no matter what we get, we're going to end up just keeping all of it. I'm not going to really need to get anything else for anybody now. I mean, I guess if we want to give Nami gifts still, but for the most part, we're not going to worry about it. Health point. We've got like four spots in a row. Because we're getting lucky like that. Yes. Uh, the next eventual thing is we are going to buy another cow. Because we are going to want to start making more milk. And that way we can start making more money. Because really what I would like to do is get another female cow. I'll just get another cow because they're bulls, so they're males. You know. We can feed my ball. Yes. Yes. I would like to stop. I will head down. Thanks for your help today. Let's see what you found. Best was a, a bone. We're going to pretty much sell everything that we found. Because the other thing I got to start doing is getting ready. In summer of year two, as long as we have enough room, we can actually get ducks, which will be a lot of fun. So I'm going to make sure that we have room for two more animals, well, two more birds in the chicken coop. You, Nami. 
Yo, man, what's up, brother? Part of me wants to buy a goat, but then the other part of me knows that it's not a good idea. Go ahead and sell a horse statue. Also sell. Silver is 40. Even gold worth. I will. And wow. So silver is better than those. Okay. Like that. Fossils. Yes. Let's sell them. I don't want to sell both, but apparently my brain said, nah, you're just one at a time. So am I selling a lot? Okay. And we have one more to sell. Can't complain one bit. And I believe that is everything. Yes. So let's go see if our chickens laid any eggs. This way we can ship those and just continuously keep shipping stuff. Because then it will be time to water stuff again. Have another fertilized egg. Wow, we have two fertilized eggs. Thinking it's just about time to sell for sale. This way, it's one more thing we can get ready for. Like this ship. Both fertilized eggs. Go ahead. Sell for sale. Because the other mistake I made in this game on one of my old files is I didn't realize that you had to get cows pregnant in order to continuously get milk. I thought that if you bought, if you bought a new cow, it would already be ready to go. And so uh, I made that mistake. Give you a bath, Chicago. You look pretty. Good looks. I will say I enjoy not having to uh, fill up the watering can every time, but at the same point, you know, it is kind of nice. Say today was a productive day. We went out, we did a lot of mining. We're going to be selling some eggs. We're going to be getting rid of one rooster. That way, we only have one rooster in the coop for now. Because really, the ideal thing is going to be to have four hens and two ducks, is what I'm hoping for. Because 
because eventually what also happens is I'll start watering more crops and then it'll take up more time and we'll be a little busier throughout the whole day instead of pretty much those parts of the day. But there is always something to do. So now the other thing I will eventually have to do is basically I will need to make sure that I'm ready to rock and roll by getting a tree at some point. Hi, Daryl. Okay. All right. As long as you're not doing anything creepy. But we all know how Daryl can be. I think I might have gotten all the cutscenes with Daryl, but I'm not sure. We'll see. What happens if I go outside around five? Let's just see. <laughs> Five o'clock. Just curious if there's any more that I have not gotten with him. Okay. I think I've seen this one. Basically, my guy is like, what is he doing? Today's the day I'll catch that Boston cocktail wheel. Are you? I did not tell you at all. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> a chance of succeeding. Feed him with his favorite food, lure him back to my lab, and then sap him good. The over flat trap plane to You fed a homeless guy, man. Be happy. Yeah, dude. Okay. You went out here, there, you. Stories, buddy. Yeah, good old Daryl on his fascination with cows. Wait. 
pick stuff up and we'll sell it. Hey, Luna. Take this flower I just picked up. So in the GameCube version of this game, she is too young to be a bachelorette. But in the PS2 version, she is a couple years older and she is an eligible bachelorette. I I have played the PS2 version. The frame rate issues, stuff like that, really hindered me from actually enjoying that game. What is the issue? Eat. Lord. Alright. Send them all back in. Should know in a couple days if Bessie got pregnant, which I'm pretty sure she did. So I guess let's go to the bar. Because that's where Bam's going. Man's going up to the villa. Hurry. Hey, Galen. Ooh. Screw. Let's get a drink. Give me a red punch. Good, it's neither that one. Pretty much a nightcap to get me ready. Hurry. I'm really okay with that. I guess the other thing I should do is probably fish a little more. So you're overly concerned about it. Octopore is not in here. Right. Well, we have lots of food in the fridge. Put in there. Where are we? We're about halfway through spring. This place is quite nice. I think the other thing I'm gonna do is order more chicken feed. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Let's uh, order some sheep. Let's do that, because the sheep will give us some gold. Here's it. 
because the more we brush the sheep and whatnot, and we cut the wool, we have a chance of getting golden wool, which will sell for quite a bit. Again, really done everything that I can. I just find it's easier to go sleep around 10 o'clock so that we're up around 4. I was like, dude, you gotta be. Right. You don't want more. You know what? Spoil yourself. Have to. on the bed. See, and you go to sleep before, well, you go to sleep after me. About 4 a.m., let's start another day. Not much really changes, folks. But you know what? Sometimes it's on the bad thing. Biggest change will be talk to Cora this morning. She will be saying goodbye to one of our roosters. He was a good rooster, but I only need one. And I feel like right now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, good home. Now it's time to go. Because if you can make me in this place, I want you to find me. See if I can get this dug before Talk to Cora starts moving around and then causes a tough scene. Oh, bring out a water. That I filled it. Either gonna start moving around five or six. Oh, here we go. Yep, I do. All right, Decca. Uh, what should I name my sheep? when the sheep gets here. Buy for sale. You did what I needed you to. Buy for yourself, good for yourself, three. Pregnant. Done. 
Yeah, buddy. It's awesome. You're lucky. Alright, so we're gonna have pregnant cow. Let's hope it's not a bull. Because if it is, we're gonna have to get rid of it. I thought I could put the record somewhere else. But I'm really concerned about it by humans. See, that worked out perfectly. to do here actually you can come work on the farm you can come have some fun yes might as well try and get it going because you might as well be friend as many people as you can like right, right there's PC So the thing I'm going to do is give you this. New age pastry. Yep. You're going to eat that flower. We're still not friends, but we are friends with you guys. You and Chris. We are friends with Patrick. So that's plus. What are you up here? Yes. Yes. Alright, so I've never really played this. Yes. Take turns to set lines on the board to occupy the space. Use a control stick or control pad to move the cursor. Push the B button to move it faster and press A to the side. So you want to control more, more spaces. Then he can change that. Yes. Got it. Really played this that much. I see. Okay.
Like uh, all that. Look at my butt. Fourteen to twenty-six. Wow, he uh, my ass. No, I'm good. It's gonna take some time. some time. Our Cody is not out and about. I'm not going to worry too much about trying to give him a gift because it'll just be a little harder. Well, I just got my ass handed to me. All right. So really, what I'm going to end up doing is pretty much now just going to wait for the sheep to come. I'm gonna end up calling that a nutty. Awesome. I don't ever remember getting a gold egg, but that will definitely help guessing with some money. I think all the food is in the fridge. Yep, food is going to be in the fridge. Okay. Well, I've gone ahead and lost. Pretty convincingly. So he's doing well. Very happy. Sheep, yeah. that's going to be right here. So, I'm pretty much just going to wait now for him to, for Dr. Cora to come back. So this way we can get ready. Yeah. That's all we're going to do now. Play the wait game.
go here. Taking his time today. Where are you, bro? Where you at, fool? Start water and stuff until we get the uh Hey, I'm back. Like a hose. No. Let's take it just here. That's great. Guys, like I'll eventually. Son of a bitch! I'll eventually water him. Strawberries. It's cool. Fighting. Protein shake. Oh. Two o'clock. Holy crap. You fucking took your time. Okay. Let's name it. Doctor, well, I got it, Doctor Wooly. Doctor, Doctor Wooly, yes. What the best name I could come up with. On the mine, on the mine. Son of a bitch. Bring him outside. We bring in our feed and our clippers. Well, our shears. Excuse me. Some sauce. Bring him outside. There he is. Before I cut his wool, to clean him, I'll make sure that he stays clean, he stays happy, because if he does, there's a better chance of him giving us golden wool, which will sell for a lot more. We'll also make sure he has system unlocked. Uh, that way he always has food, he's always happy. So this way. This way he's gonna be so much better off. And speaking of better off, we are gonna go ahead and end the stream here, everybody. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Deca, thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate you coming back again. I hope you enjoyed it. And for now, everybody, that is going to be it. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Here's the... Get easy.